Michael Lorenzen is sick of these baseballs, and so are other pitchers. And to be honest, so are other hitters as well. This season, we've seen a lot of pitches near the head, particularly with the Mets. The Mets seem to be the target of all of this, like Pete Alonso and Francisco Lindor. They seem to be the most headhunted in the league, but everybody knows that it's not intentional. But it doesn't make it any less bad that there are 90 mile per hour fastballs going straight to a player's head. Last year, the league decided to enforce their ban on sticky stuff, and with that, we all knew that the baseballs are going to be slippier and harder to control, but it's really showing right now. Last night, Michael Lorenzen hit Justin Upton on the head, and again, it wasn't intentional, but it does not make it any less scary that he got hit in the head by a 90-something mile per hour projectile, and after the game, Lorenzen blamed this on the baseballs. He said, the pitch completely slipped out, the balls are not muddied enough, and it seems like it's coming straight out of the pack. He referenced Ryan Tapera the night before who caught the ump to him because he didn't like any of the baseballs. They were too slippery. And he also referenced Kevin Gosman who also seems to be having trouble with the balls. He says there's a league-wide issue and he blames the league for Upton getting hit. But it seems like it's a lot more than just muddied, not muddied, using sticky stuff, not using sticky stuff. Because JV recently came out to Jeff Paston in an article and he talked about a lot of things one of which was the baseballs because in 2019 he was talking about how the baseballs were juiced and everyone thought he was a conspiracy theorist as he said and this year you know we saw that the baseballs were actually dying like there was different drag I don't know if it was more or less I don't even know what drag is to be honest with you but it seems to be important the baseballs were dead and suddenly recently it seems like they're alive again which is what Justin Verlander confirmed. He says, you know, they're kind of sprinkling the old ones back in. He says he likes the ones from the early this year because, you know, it limits opposite field home runs or something like that. I'm like, JV, I, we, we get it, you know. Um, but I don't, I don't know. So, so is it dead? Is it juiced? Is it slippery? Is it not slippery? MLB has just been playing around too much with their balls and they need to do something about it. Personally, I tend to side with the pitchers even though my team was known for their offense and still kind of are known for their offense. But it's not like it helped last year because Houston was running even when the sticky stuff was still out there. But yeah, I mean, I like pitchers. It seems like they're getting screwed over by a lot of the rule changes. But, you know, personally, I think the baseballs... If you want to juice them, fine, juice them. I don't care about that. I actually think home runs are good for baseball. But I also think strikeouts are amazing for baseball. I like to see pitchers use sticky stuff. I want to see them spin the ball, get out of jams by spinning the heck out of them and striking guys out. That's exciting, you know, getting yourself into a jam and then you need a strikeout. You know you need a strikeout. And that strikeout comes because they got sticky stuff and they're hitting less people. I think the baseballs, um whatever about them but like let pitchers use sticky stuff and juice the balls that's my personal opinion what's yours i guess i don't, I don't know thank you guys for watching if you guys want to stay tuned for more of whatever this video is feel free to subscribe right here if you guys just want to check out some more videos right now this is my most recent upload again thank you guys for watching and as always it is stro season all season